Are you looking for a way to keep nursing students actively engaged in developing their public health competencies? I'm worried about the kids in the breakfast and lunch program at the school though, and whether or not they'll have access to regular healthy meals while school's out for the summer. We have three brand new virtual simulations designed to do just that. And the best part is that they are completely free and designed to be accessible for students. We call these simulations games because they are designed to be interactive and engaging. Students can play them anywhere and learn by making mistakes in a judgment-free safe space. In each game, learners make decisions about which framework is appropriate to guide their decisions. During the community assessment game, students decide where they should gather data from about food insecurity, how they will analyze the data, and report their assessment. There aren't any grocery stores nearby. There is a neighborhood services organization in the neighborhood. We need to talk to the staff in that neighborhood services center. In game two, they are looking for health promotion strategies to address food insecurity. Learners collaborate with clients and community partners, decide which actions are evidence informed and implement and assess their interventions. Then in game three, learners get to take part in developing a program to address the food insecurity in collaboration with the community. We have even integrated select all that apply questions to help them develop critical thinking skills in population based nursing. Rationales for each decision reinforce key learning objectives. Students say these rationales are the best part of the entire experience because it helps them learn in the moment. These games are designed to build on each other. They come complete with a companion guide for educators that introduces you to the content, simulation best practices, a list of suggested preparation materials to help students get the most out of the simulations, and a self-assessment rubric. You can even track their completion of the games by asking them to submit the certificate they get after completing the game. That means you could give them grades for completing the games if you wanted to. Click on the link below to learn more about how to easily incorporate these high quality simulations into your community health course. This game would not have been possible without funding from the Government of Ontario through eCampus Ontario, who is investing in a virtual learning strategy. By collaborating with experts from the McMaster University School of Nursing, in collaboration with the University of Ottawa, Queen's University, the Canadian Alliance of Nurse Educators Using Simulation, and the Canadian Association of Schools of Nursing, we were able to create a comprehensive educational resource supporting students to apply essential knowledge related to public health nursing.